Sunil Bharti Mittal born the 23rd of October 1957, is an Indian billionaire entrepreneur, philanthropist and the founder and chairman of Bharti Enterprises, which has diversified interests in telecom, insurance, real estate, education, malls, hospitality, agri and food besides other ventures. Bharti Airtel, the group's flagship company is one of the world's largest and India's largest telecom company with operations in 16 countries across Asia and Africa with a customer base of over 390 million. Bharti Airtel clocked revenues of over US$14.75 billion in FY2016. He is listed as the eighth richest person in India by Forbes with a net worth of US$8.3 billion. In 2007, he was awarded the Padma Bhushan, India's third highest civilian honour. On June 15, 2016, he was elected as chairman of the International Chamber of Commerce. Topic Early life Sunil Bharti Mittal was born in Punjabi family. His father, Sat Paul Mittal, had been the member of parliament, Raja Sabha Indian National Congress from Ludhiana, Punjab. He was elected from Punjab for two terms 1976 and 1982 and nominated to the Raja Sabha once 1988. He first joined the Winberg Allen School in Missouri, but later attended Sindhya School at Gwalior and he graduated in 1976 from Punjab University, Chandigarh, with a Bachelor of Arts and Science for which he studied in Arya College, Ludhiana. His father died of cardiac arrest in 1992. Entrepreneurial ventures A first-generation entrepreneur, Sunil started his first business in April 1976 at the age of 18, with a capital investment of Rs $280 borrowed from his father. His first business was to make crankshafts for local bicycle manufacturers. In 1980, he, along with his brothers Rakesh Middle and Rajan Middle, started an import enterprise named Bharti Overseas Trading Company. He sold his bicycle parts and yarn factories and moved to Mumbai. In 1981, he purchased importing licenses from exporting companies in Punjab. He then imported thousands of Suzuki Motors' portable electric power generators from Japan. The importing of generators was suddenly banned by the then Indian government. In 1984, he started assembling push-button phones in India, which he earlier used to import from a Taiwan company, Kingtel, replacing the old-fashioned, bulky rotary phones that were in use in the country then. Bharti Telecom Limited BTL was incorporated and entered into a technical tie-up with Siemens AG of Germany for manufacture of electronic push-button phones. By the early 1990s, Sunil was making fax machines, cordless phones and other telecom gear. Sunil says, In 1983, the government imposed a ban on the import of gensets. I was out of business overnight. Everything I was doing came to a screeching halt. I was in trouble. The question then was, what should I do next? Then, opportunity came calling. While in Taiwan, I noticed the popularity of the push-button phone, something which India hadn't seen then. We were still using those rotary dials with no speed dials or redials. I sensed my chance and embraced the telecom business. I started marketing telephones, answering, fax machines under the brand name Beetle and the company picked up really fast. He named his first push button phones as Mitbrow. In 1992, he successfully bid for one of the four mobile phone network licenses auctioned in India. One of the conditions for the Delhi cellular license was that the bidder have some experience as a telecom operator. So, Middle clinched a deal with the French telecom group Vivendi. He was one of the first Indian entrepreneurs to identify the mobile telecom business as a major growth area. His plans were finally approved by the government in 1994 and he launched services in Delhi in 1995, when Bharti Cellular Limited BCL was formed to offer cellular services under the brand name Airtel. Within a few years Bharti became the first telecom company to cross the 2 million mobile subscriber mark. Bharti also brought down the STD, ISD cellular rates in India under brand name India One. In May 2008, it emerged that Sunil Bharti Middle was exploring the possibility of buying the Mountain Group, a South Africa-based telecommunications company with coverage in 21 countries in Africa and the Middle East. 
The Financial Times reported that Barty was considering offering $45 billion for a 100% stake in Mountain, which would be the largest overseas acquisition ever by an Indian firm. However, both sides emphasized the tentative nature of the talks, while The Economist magazine noted, If anything, Barty would be marrying up. As Mountain has more subscribers, higher revenues and broader geographic coverage. However, the talks fell apart as Mountain Group tried to reverse the negotiations by making Barty almost a subsidiary of the new company. In May 2009, Barty Airtel again confirmed that it was in talks with Mountain and the companies agreed to discuss the potential transaction exclusively by 31 July 2009. Talks eventually ended without agreement, some sources stating that this was due to opposition from the South African government. In June 2010, Barty led by Middle acquired the African business of Zane Telecom for $10.7 billion enterprise value, making it the largest ever acquisition by an Indian telecom firm. In 2012, Barty tied up with Walmart, the U.S. retail giant, to start a number of retail stores across India. In 2014, Barty planned to acquire Loop Mobile for 700 crore Indian rupees, but the deal was called off later. His son Kevin Barty Middle is the CEO and founder of Hike Messenger. In September 2010, Middle's son, Shraven Middle, joined Barty Airtel as a manager having worked for Merrill Lynch in New York and Ernst & Young in London. In 2012, Middle took Barty Infratel public with an initial IPO that raised $760 million. Middle noted that the sale, considered by many to be only a modest success, was a strong endorsement from qualified investors. The board was restructured ahead of the IPO with Middle remaining as chairman and managing director. After the IPO, shares of Barty Infratel dropped sharply at the commencement of trading. In 2013, Middle was ordered to appear before a special Delhi court to answer questions about the additional allocation of airwaves to certain companies. Allegations against Middle state that there had been collusion with key telecoms officials in the government to illegally secure an extra spectrum. No charges were issued against Middle, however the trial court judge noted that there was enough material on record to proceed. In late 2013, Middle announced the acquisition of Warid Congo, making Barty Airtel the largest telecoms provider in the Republic of Congo. In 2015, Sunil Middle announced that he would be joining the board of OneWeb, a space internet company. Middle was one of the investors in a $500 million investment round that included Coca Cola, Virgin, and Qualcomm. In 2016, Middle made changes at Barty Airtel to enable the company to compete against the launch of Reliance Geo Infocom Limited in the race to become India's largest telecoms company. In 2017, Middle announced War on Roaming by scrapping charges for outgoing and incoming calls within India as well as international roaming charges. Topic awards and recognition Padma Bhushan, Government of India, 2007 Transforming India Leader, NDTV Business Leader Awards GSM Association's Chairman's Award, 2008 Asia Businessman of the Year, Fortune Magazine, 2006 Telecom Person of the Year, Voice and Data Magazine India, 2006 CEO of the Year, Frost and Sullivan Asia Pacific ICT Awards, 2006 CEO of the Year, 2005-06, Business Standard Standard Best Asian Telecom CEO, Telecom Asia Awards, 2005 Best CEO, India, Institutional Investor, 2005 Business Leader of the Year, Economic Times, 2005 Philanthropist of the Year Award, The Asian Awards, 2010 INSEAD Business Leader Award, 2011 Honoris Causa Doctorate of Sciences, D. S. C. Degree, Amity University Gurgaon, 2016 Honoris Causa Doctorate of Sciences, D. S. C. Degree, Sri Mata Vaishno Devi University, Katra, J&K, 2018. Topic: <inaudible> Industry associations and affiliations. Chairman, GSM Association, 2017 to 19. Honorary Chairman, International Chamber of Commerce, ICC. Member, Telecom Board of International Telecommunication Union ITU, the leading UN Agency for Information and Communication Technology Commissioner, Broadband Commission for Sustainable Digital Development at ITU Chair, World Economic Forum's Telecommunications Steering Committee Member, International Business Council, World Economic Forum Member, Board of Directors, Qatar Foundation Endowment Member, Board of Directors, SoftBank Corp. 
2011 to 2013. Member, Board of Directors, Unilever PLC and Unilever NV, 2011 to 2013. Member, International Advisory Committee to the Board of Directors, NYSE Euronext, 2008 to 2011. Member, Board of Directors, Standard Chartered Bank PLC, 2007 to 2009. Member, Board of Directors, Hero Honda Motors, 2006 to 2009. President, Confederation of Indian Industry (CII), 2007-2008. Co-chairman, Annual Meeting, World Economic Forum, Davos, 2007. Member, Board of Global GSM Association, 2003 to 2007. Topic: Philanthropy. Middle has also been working towards educating India through the Bharti Foundation, which is the philanthropic arm of Bharti Enterprises. The foundation has established schools in villages across India and offers free quality education with free books, uniform and mid-day meals to poor children. Satya Bharti School Program The foundation's flagship program is running 254 schools in six states serving over 45,000 rural children, free of cost. The other educational initiatives including the, Satya Bharti School, Quality Support and Learning Centre programs, are currently reaching out to over 3, 50,000 underprivileged children in 11 states. Other program of the foundation making considerable impact among the underprivileged sections is, Satya Bharti Abhiyan, Sanitation. In 2017, the Bharti family pledged 10% of wealth, approximately. 7,000 crore rupees towards philanthropy to set up Satya Bharti University, a world-class university to offer education to deserving youth from economically weaker sections of society. 